Okay, ew, I know. A late review, a late review when everyone else has just done their reviews. Oh shit, I forgot something. Just wait. Where the fuck did it go? Okay, so if you want to know why I'm wearing a... Why I'm going to grab a beanie, it's because I don't... It's because my hair is messy at the moment and I don't want people to see my hair messy. I like it... I like to be presentable for a video. I mean, is that too much to ask for? But, here I am anyway. With the beanie on. Anyway, look. I saw Logan. Okay, late review. I know ill. <laughs> Not one of the most liked things on YouTube, but I saw it. I uh, loved it. I have... I have... I need to talk about it and I have some opinions on it. Okay, first off, um, is it a good movie? Yes, it's a freaking fantastic movie. I, my big concern going into this, um, was that it having the R rating thing, I, I my concern was that it would, it was, um, trying to follow, uh, in Deadpool's footsteps, you know, it was trying to be R rated to try and get, because people, because all of a sudden, ever since Deadpool came out, and it was the highest, um, grossing R-rated movie in history, uh, every, all the company, all the big companies thought, oh, we need to make uh, uh, these blockbuster movies R-rated now. I mean, they tried to do that with Batman v Superman, the extended cut, and that didn't, no, that, that didn't uh, work at all. Um, but that was my, my, that was my uh, thoughts going into this. It's like, uh, I had mixed feelings going into it. This uh, being the conflicting, uh, idea of r running around in my head was that is it going to suck because they just went for the R rating for no reason um, I will tell you what the R rating um, uh, in other words the blood and the guts and the violence uh, really does make this movie uh, I have come to realise now after watching Deadpool and Logan that you cannot have these heroes or really anti-heroes you can't have them without the blood and guts I feel like now after watching Logan, I feel like every time I watch another X-Men movie with Wolverine in it or the other Wolverine movies, I, f I feel like there's going to be something missing now because Wolverine has always been a violent guy, even in the car even in the cartoons. They haven't sh they've had a couple blood spats here and there, but because I can't have too much because it's a cartoon, but he's always been violent and this one goes all out and holy crap it was for the for the violence and the, for the violence alone it is just entertaining and just there are times where it's like that is beautifully violent it's violent but it's it's art is what it is um so yeah uh this has some very entertaining action and uh every time well it, it's putting a smile on my face. So if you're going into this for the action, you're going to get it. Also, if you are... Oh, can I just add on to that? Um, that uh, When I was going into this movie, for me personally, I had a very similar feeling, like the same, the same feeling that I had going in to see X-Men Days of Future Past, I had going into this movie. Okay, so... You know when you sit in there and you're all, you're all excited for the movie. You, you're thinking, oh, will it will it will it be crap or will it be one of the best movies ever or will it just be okay? Um, uh, the feeling that I had going into Days of Future Past was this could be a great movie. This could be something to remember for a long time. I had that um, feeling going into watching Days of Future Past, and I was right. Um, I'm not saying I knew that it was going to be good. I'm just saying that, you know, I had that feeling of a, of a hype in me. And um, I had that same feeling going into Logan. I felt like this was going to be something to remember. And again, uh, I was proven right. Now, this movie, oh, uh, it just, you know, you, you know you've seen a good movie that when you, at the end of it, you feel like you have been taken to a place. And with this movie, I felt like I was taken 
to a place. Uh, I felt like at, there were times where I felt like I just was, like I was there with them and I was in it. Um, but there were other times where I was just like, this is some really good fun and I am, I'm not in a movie theater. I am in a special place right now. It, this movie has that effect on me and I miss movies like that where it takes you to a place where it invests you well but where yeah well yeah where it invests you to a certain point where you it just takes you to a place uh, you don't know what that place is it just it, it there's just something special about it and there is definitely something special about this movie um like I said, if you're going into this for the action, you will get what you're buying for. It is freaking fantastic, but it also pleases the other side of moviegoers, which is a great, compelling, and investing story. Man, by the end of this movie, I was man crying. Man crying. That's what I was doing. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you, because no spoilers in this at all. But, man, this was a good movie, not just because of the action, but because, oh, it's just, I, I don't use this word that, that often, well, I can't really remember at the moment, but I, I'm sure that I don't use this word that often for movies, that, you know, when I watch a movie, I hardly ever call it compelling, at least in my reviews, um, I, I, I this movie was compelling, it just, it just, ugh. I was compelled, I don't know, to be invested. I was invested. I was invested and, com and, and compelled in this movie. It was a really good movie. Let's talk about the characters. Uh, Logan. Um, Logan has always been good. There are certain movies where he is better in than other movies, I think. Um... I don't know. I could be fanboying, but this could be the best we've ever seen uh, Logan. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep saying Logan because that's what the movie's called. Um, but I I think honestly think this is the best we've ever seen Logan. Um, it is very sad, though, to see, um, to see Hugh Jackman playing this great character uh, for the last time. Um, but other characters, Professor X, <laughs> he's dangerous in this movie, I will say that, but he is funny as hell. I've never ever heard <laughs> Professor Xavier, Charles, swear. He swears like a fucking trooper in this. It's fantastic. It's, it's, I think it's because, um, like, okay, my, <clears throat> Um, my, my what, uh, uh, what the fuck am I thinking, Jeff? My, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, my, not opinion, no, not that. Oh, my assumption, I guess, is that, um, he, ne Charles, um, at a younger age would have never sworn like he does in this movie. He never would have been a bastard like he is in this movie. He's funny, but he's, you know, he's still got that good heart in him, but there are times where it's just like, man, you are, you are the funniest part of this movie. That's what it's like for him. Um, but I feel like because he's so old in this movie that, like, he's reached that age where he just doesn't give a fuck anymore, and he's just like, he swears like a trooper, he is hilarious. Um, but it would have been, it would, oh man, I... If, if, if they would have gone this route, okay, and just made him the comedic relief and ha and put no heart in him, that, I would have hated that. But the thing is, they don't do that. They actually give him heart. He still cares about people, okay? He's, you, you, like, you see that he's funny. He is the comedic relief in this movie. Um, but he is, uh, extra he's funny, really funny in this movie. In my opinion, the funniest part, but also he... He still has that heart. They, James uh, Mangold, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, he knew exactly how to treat Professor X in this movie. Um, also, Patrick Stewart's help. I mean, I, how can I 
talk about Professor X without talking about Patrick Stewart. Um, he, if he's playing it, of course Professor X is going to be good. But I just think James Mangold didn't, and no one on the set lost sight of what Charles is. He's a man who he's a man with hope in his heart and a lot of care for others. Um, and what they do with that, uh, his past mistakes. Um, it just, yeah, it's a lot of grey in a man that has only ever wanted to help and bring about peace. It was very, uh, compelling. So, how was X-23? Awesome. She was, um, <laughs> oh, I can't get over her. You know what I want? I know this takes place in the future. Everyone should know that by now. Um, but th they need to put her in an X-Men movie. Um, they need to, I don't know, somehow. Uh, I don't know, with time travel or something? Like bring in, I don't know, do it like the Terminator where she comes back uh, from the... She comes from the future to stay in the past to save something. I don't know, they could... I don't know what they could do, but they, she needs to join the X-Men, just at least for one movie, or at least one scene. I'm, I'd be good with one scene. One movie would be even better, though. Uh, but she is awesome. It's like she was giving Logan a run for his money. Anyway, uh, what else can I say about the movie? Um, It's dark. It's very... a lonely movie. I don't know what it is about lonely movies that take me to a place... I guess that's what that's what it is that takes me to a place. But if you can make a a movie that is, uh, you know, dark, sad, and lonely, but not to the point, not to the extent that it just completely alienates you from everything, and just that you don't give a shit about anything that happens. If they can do like if if. I watch a movie, like if they can do a movie that is sad and lonely and dark, but also is light enough to invest you and compel you, uh, then it it takes me, it will always take me to a place. I don't know what it is about movies like that, but they, when, it, when it's done, when a type of movie is like that is done right, where it's dark and lonely, and it's just like, like the end of the road type of story, then uh, yeah, I I love it. I just uh, yeah, I just love this movie, man. I love it. Uh, I that's it. I mean, what else can I talk about without spoiling? It? So that's it for the review. Um, I know. Let me just quickly state. I know I haven't been putting up that many videos lately. I'm trying my best. I've got a lot of videos. Uh, stocked up that I want to get out. I just need to do a couple more videos. Um, I do, however, want to do a review on on the Wolverine because uh, I did a review on this movie. So why not do the Wolverine and then that's it? All the X Men movies done. Okay, all of them. Not that one. That doesn't count. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna do that. I'm, I want to do that because uh, I just want to talk about it and I. I have come to appreciate the Wolverine. I really like it. The music. You know, I'm not even going to talk about it now, okay? Because that I'll keep that for another time. But, um, yeah, I have a lot of videos coming out. Uh, I want to do that. Uh, also, a special announcement video. I have a lot of videos and ideas to talk about um, that are coming up. Uh, so stick around, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, humans. Say goodbye, Jeff.